Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a time code in Sony Vegas. First off, what you're going to do is create a new file. Uh, make sure you set it as 30 or 60 FPS, whichever FPS matches your video. Uh, then disable resample because resample just adds unneeded frames. So go ahead and click OK. Go ahead and insert the video you need to time. Go ahead and click no on this, uh, add a video track, and then what we're going to do is just crop the video to wherever you need, and then we're going to start off by inserting generated media on this top video layer. Go ahead and click Vegas title and text, erase this text here, you don't need it, and then this would be the duration, so you just need the max duration so the time doesn't stop at some random point. Then next, what you do is just right click, hit media effects, then go to time code, double click it and hit OK. Uh, select whichever time increments you need or format. I just use the regular time. And you can see here there's a black box around it. To change that, all you do is to go to composition mode and do screen. And then just disappears there. And then to get rid of these zeros that you don't need, go ahead and hit the crop tool, hit mask, and then use the rectangle tool. And then just make the rectangle and then drag it to wherever you need. I'm just going to put it right here. Now to move or resize the timer to wherever you need, go ahead and click these three lines and then go to track motion. And then you can see here it'll move wherever you want and you can just resize it to whatever you need. So that's good. Now to add the velocity, go ahead and right click, go to insert envelope and do velocity. Now to have the time stop and start at a certain point, go ahead and right click and do hold. Then put this on zero velocity. Then go to whichever point you need to start the timer. Go to add point and then do normal velocity. So you can see here, it's starting on zero and then it's holding all the way until this point. And then it starts here. Be careful while if you need to move this point because it can mess up the time. If you move it too far, it'll start on a later time than you actually need. Now for the point uh, at the end, go ahead and just go to the end, add a point, go to zero velocity and this is already on hold so it'll just drop down here. And then you can see the timer will still be going and then there it goes it stops right there and it just holds and now you can see the full timer here now you can see it stops if you need to change each point just go ahead and pull it over here wherever you need it and then drag it down say i wanted the end time to be way over here just drag this be careful because the velocity will change just right click and go ahead and do zero velocity again and there you go there's your timer it goes even further uh, if you have any questions leave them down in the comments and thanks for watching